Hellenic Empire is at war again. Time to expand, boys. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Antebellum here as the Hellenic Empire. I hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign so far. I'm having a heck of a fun time. We've got another merchant, so let's steer from you. And just like that, we are going to become competitive with the uh, the most valuable trade nodes in the world, which is pretty incredible, in my opinion. And uh, we're still getting everything converted over here, which is great. But yeah, we're just uh, making through, working through a couple of these annexations because I want more trade power in Crimea. Let's go ahead and go with uh, construction costs, sure. Because we're building more manufacturers. Look how cheap they are. I probably should have done that before, right? But it is what it is. We also have a ton of diplomena. So what we're going to do here is we are going to develop as many of these provinces that have valuable trade nodes that produce, that give us good return in trade. So take a look at this. Oh, actually, I think I just devved up silk there. But yeah, look at this. I just said uh, in the last episode, I think I said that I wasn't going to be able to spawn global trade. Well, now it looks like we will. <laughs> so all you need to do is uh, move your capital out of and I can reiterate what I did. I moved my capital to Constantinople from Nicaea. Now, the reason why is because Nicaea is in the Levant. You can only trade company things that are outside of your region, right? This is the subcontinent or subcontinent rather. This is the subcontinent map mode, which you can put on there if you right click something on the map mode. A lot of people don't know that. Right click and then you can add that. Also, you can rebind these if you don't know. If you click this uh, this button right here, the H, and then you click on a button here, you can see that you can reset a hotkey. So I've rebound mine. So it's Control Q. So it's like Q is this one, Control Q is this one, W is that one, Control W is that one. You're right, and so on and so forth. Really useful. And then if you just hit it multiple times, it like filters through it. So very useful. Hotkeys are a huge time saver for anybody who plays EU4 long a lot of time like I do. So either way, what I was saying is, we moved our capital from the Levant into Eastern Europe. That allows us to trade company everything in the Levant that we otherwise couldn't, which is 90% of our empire, right? So then you can see we unstated a few provinces, added them to the trade companies, specifically targeting the areas that have uh, centers of trade in them. And that gives us extra merchants because if you have at least 50% of, if your trade company has at least 50% of the trade power within a node, you will be able to prop or use that trade power to get an extra merchant from your trade company. Very useful. So just like that, we are steering all that trade in there and we're end up we end up making about 20 ducats a month more than we were before and we're using our missions here to make our way down this way to take as much of this land as possible yes that's perfect this is exactly what i want uh, a lot of ae i don't care and what that's going to do is that's going to give us a couple more trade centers over here in hormuz which is 12 ducats of value sitting here uh, and we'll be able to probably get another merchant. I don't know just from this, but we're also going to attack Hormuz. We're right now working on getting a galley navy set up over here in the Gulf of Hormuz or whatever, the Persian Gulf. That way we can get onto their capital because I'd like to take these two provinces. And uh, that will give us plenty of trade power to start steering over there. And uh, the economic roll is really, really coming strong, lads. Hopefully you guys have been learning a bit. I've been having a really fun time just, um, you know, exploring and explaining everything. I try to be educational. I really do. I try to be educational whenever I'm doing these things because I want to make sure that you guys are learning, you know? At the end of the day... Oopsies. Hold on a minute. At the end of the day, educational content is very important for me. Right, so let's have that three head up there. I didn't used to value being educational, much more valued being entertaining. But um, considering how many comments I get asking me like a lot of questions that I would consider pretty basic, and that's no no slight. But there's a lot of information out there that a lot of people do not know that um, they should. And so I try to let you guys know and let you in on this, the tricks of the trade, right? So that way you guys can be an absolute Chad master of you for like I am. It's a joke. I'm not. <laughs> I definitely don't consider myself that either. I'm just kidding. But for real though. Let's see here. Let's get you guys occupied over here. Do I have them all covered? Yep, very good. They're on this fort there. I do not care. I'll take that production value. I'd really like it if we could... I guess I could just piece out Theodoro. Nope. Fierce Negotiator? No. Holds their capital. Right. So we're not going to be able to piece this war out until we take Theodoro's capital. This war, I should be able to piece out, but I'm probably going to end up needing to occupy... Um, a couple of provinces over here. It looks like my vassal, Sir Serbia, marched all the way down into Arabia, which I love that. All right, very good. I'll take that as well. Why not? I will... This is our 
uh, gothic culture. So I will increase the autonomy there just because I don't feel like dealing with unrest over there. I will suppress you guys here with this army. All is well. And uh, we'll just get these guys occupied up here. That will allow us to hopefully piece them out pretty soon. All right. They're still trying to work on that fort there. Let's put that on defensiveness here. I am converting it. So my subjects are disloyal. I will pay off your debt. And now you are loyal again. Very good. Let's, um... Hmm. Yeah, okay. Make sure you upgrade. These ones are solid just because these give you the trade power in every single province in that node. In that, um... Yeah, in that node. So it's very, very useful. All right, now I don't... Th oh, the Hormuz army is probably... Or not Hormuz. The uh, Corsan army is probably marching to come and attack me here. Get, them out, get me out of their land, so... Need to be mindful of that. 10% extra discipline from this and that. And then another 5%. So 15% discipline. Obviously, we're losing mana because of uh, all, all of our policies, but that's okay. Now, is there one that I want to be... So morale of armies and siege ability. Oof, these are... Hmm, that's a tough one. The missionary is probably the least useful one, um, but we're still conquering a ton of land, and I want to make sure I'm converting, so... As much as I do love siege ability, I think we're going to hold on for a moment. I can probably piece out these guys, but I might as well just hold on to him. Hold on to them for the uh, purpose of a war score, right? Get these guys over here. Obviously, we're going to need to... Um, relocating to Theodoro, huh? It's, I'm glad that there's a fort there. Hopefully, my vassals will go handle them. That would be nice. Oh, Corson's got a province over here. I didn't even see that. Make sure we are continuing to convert everything. So this province has a zeal till 89. That's unfortunate because... Well... Yeah, this is fine. I wanted to trade company Baghdad. Persian separatists. They are going to be handled by this army. Yep, yeah, very good. They won't give it separatism because of the foreign in our bill which is good. And uh, these guys here are going to get beautiful. Oh my goodness. Now Shiraz is 27 dev. So I don't want to yoink the development because I'll be able to make this a level three center of trade still. So I'm not going to. Let's go ahead and um, hmm. I suppose I'm, this is where I'll draw the line. The Hormuz trade node is where I'll draw the line on what I'm actually going to convert because I cannot really be asked to uh to do much more conversions so i think that what i want to do is get rid of this one uh where are we at here policies 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 here we go uh i think we'll get rid of this one to say get the extra mill mana and uh those guys will be suppressed over here that should give us another merchant i'd be surprised if it didn't yes it does and then some which is great because then we'll be able to steer from over here you have an extra mer mission here, or yeah, mission done here. Theoclea is 53, so it might be beneficial for us to abdicate. This is only 21. So let's go ahead and abdicate. We'll lose the stability. That's fine. Uh, but then what we can do, he also has AE impact, which is nice. A 4 to 4, uh, but he will become a 4 to 5 and will gain some mill mana, which is great. Uh, that will actually allow us to dev develop a little bit, which is wonderful. Our new um, guy here, our new deity... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty keen on just keeping it. It doesn't really seem like there's anything super, super beneficial outside of this. The reform progress growth is pretty good. Diplo rep and improved relations is nice. Morale of armies and shock damage received is really solid, as well as national unrest and shock damage. Uh, morale of navies and galley combat is fine. But I'm just going to stick with this Demeter because, you know, dev cost is just overpowered. Now, we need to get into Persia here, and we'll be able to attack them in August of next year. And we shall. Um, let's see here. Obviously, we need to get down into the Nizrid's lands as well. So, I'm going to attack Hormuz. Oh, okay. So, we can't co-belligerent them. Hmm. But yeah, you'll be able to see how much more trade power we're steering from here. Oh, baby. Look at this. 53.6. Oh, yeah. We'll be able to do this. All right. So, we have rebels that are going to be popping over here in Armenia. That is fine. We'll be able to handle them. No problem. I should probably start paying off these loans. 
You also have to remember that we have some manufacturers that are being built as well, which is going to further boost our income. Yeah, a couple of these guys are almost done as well, which is really good. So again, find some trade nodes, some trade goods that are semi-lucrative, right? You know what? Uh, we can't do it now. It is what it is. Sadly, those guys are likely to yeah, take that province. They're going to get a little bit of separatism, but that's okay. No big deal. I can't be asked to micro that. Uh-huh. Now, the idea is you want to get as much of these guys, as many of these guys built before... Um, you want to get them built before... You start building them before... Within five years of uh, 1600. So we have plenty of time. Now, is Damascus... We need to get one built in Damascus, of course. The Damascus steel, very important. Which uh, I also watched a really interesting video. If, if you guys know who Shadiversity is. Oh, cool. We actually do get the local goods produced. Okay, cool. So it does count. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's turn this down just slightly. But yeah, Shadiversity, if you guys are familiar with him. I think he's Australian, I believe. He's got an Australian sounding accent. But uh, great, great content. Oh my goodness. Look at this. 58. Did some of them finish building? Yep. Some of them finished building. We're up to 58.3 compared to 49.6. Yep. And, and then you just keep the roll. The snowball. We are definitely snowballing now. Obviously, we can afford a larger army now. Um... Which we should. So now we just need to consider. I think I'm, I'm worth. I'm willing to hold off on the Nizzers because I will make immediate benefit from annexing Persia. Uh, what I want is to take this state here. Then I want to take. Um, oh, I should have taken these provinces from Farce. That's a misplay. Well, if, hopefully Persia takes them. Actually, that would be perfect because then I can take those as well as Isfahan here. So like these two, this whole area here, this whole area here. And then possibly these these areas here, and then we'll head over and annex Georgia as well. Lots, lots, and lots, and lots of conquests to go. But yeah, basically, New World Diamonds, huh? Cool. That increases the price of gems, doesn't it, or did it decrease it? Oh, it decreased it. Damn. Well, that's no good. It's gonna hurt our bottom dollar. But yeah, you can see how much is still getting poured out of there. So, like, if we upgrade you and we upgrade you... Take a look. This is funny. I'm upgrading downstream. Uh, why can I not upgrade you? Oh, right. Um, and just like that, 5.2 will turn into, like, 4.5 or something along those lines. Or 4.2, 5.3. Maybe it goes up a little bit, actually. That'd be pretty good. Pretty good. Um, but, yeah, 56.6. We're making 86 ducats a month from trade. Very, very strong. Those guys are going to handle them. Very solid. Yeah. I'm in no rush to attack these guys because I want them to annex Farce. Is it a war on Farce? Reconquest of Yaz. That's perfect. Yes. I hope they take this province as well. They have a core on it. So that would be ideal. I'm just going to sit back and wait on this war. They took their capital, which is great. We have some rebels on a fort, which is even better. Okay, I suppose I could have these guys build up to match a template. Eh. Yeah, I really hope they revert this change. I, I don't like this at all. You can't even click this unless you have enough money to repay a loan. Like, that just seems very arbitrary. Um, so, yeah, we'll repay the more expensive ones. Yeah, a couple of them are renewing. Luckily, we have economic ideas, so our uh, inflation reduction is automatic, which is really nice. There you go. We'll handle them. All right. Very good. I'll upgrade you. I'll upgrade you. That's going to help us out quite a bit as well. Look at this, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. The trade power you get from these guys is just nutty, right? absolutely nutty um now if i upgrade my trade here take a look this is this is really interesting so i upgraded my trade here it's gonna look i go from 327 here to 338 i gain trade power from getting it upstream a lot of people don't know about propagation of trade power it's extremely powerful that's why it's good to upgrade stuff the trade buildings in your like upstream nodes 338 342 and that it's also propagating up here remember 
we are getting quite a bit of trade power up here as well. So 329 will or 129 will turn into 157. Well, that's also because we finished up some cores, so our overextension went down. But yeah, look at this. 63 ducats. Every uh there always comes a time in every campaign that I play. Here we go. They actually pieced out. Every campaign that I play, there comes a time. And Hormuz will join. That's a, this is actually perfect. This is actually perfect, because I'll be able to take Mogistan and Hormuz, probably. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, let's go for Holy War, of course. Get you guys over here. What do you have for an army? 27,000. Okay. Let's, um... Do I need these guys over here? Uh, it looks like I do. Okay. Um, let's have you guys build up to a bigger army here. And then we'll have them siege down over here. Let's take a look here. What's their navy looking like? They only have nine, nine galleys and they have seven heavies in Persia. That means they have seven heavies in the Persian Gulf, which is incredibly funny. All right, let's get an admiral on you. Let's come on over and blockade Hormuz. This will be really good. There you go. Those guys have been squashed. These guys are conforming to that uh, little half template there. Get on Siege on Hormuz. We'll probably take Hormuz and Mogistan because that's going to give us even more trade power that we can use to steer. Never underestimate steering. People think you have to... Um, you have to... Uh, whatchamacallit? You have to uh, collect in every node. It is, it is simply not correct. Let's dev you up. There you go. Free manpower sounds good. Now these guys are ready to roll. Let's get them onto Tabriz. We're gonna have some rebels. It's fine. I don't care. We sacked Hormuz. Um, can I get enough money to avoid a loan? Looks like I can. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let's. Oops, I took a loan. <laughs> that was an accident. Oh well. We don't need this base tax anyways. This is for all the people who screech every time I exploit base tax. Now, do I have another loan? Did I take one? Uh, 5th of May? No, it doesn't look like I did take another loan. That's fine. All right. Mogistan has been won. Let's head up to Tehran. Let's actually head over to Masat. Um, Mus Muscat. And, uh, because I'll separate piece these guys for that. That's fine. The AE is getting pretty bad. But, um, who am I kidding? I don't care. All right. Yeah, I really do wish it told me. Ooh, base production. Or tax modifier. Uh, I think I'll just take their loyalty. Their loyalty is important to me because then I can yoink more crown land. Very good. So in this war, I plan to take all of this and all of this state here because that's two more centers of trade three centers of trade in persia and then ideally we get over and we take like this as well mm -hmm. um okay maybe not this they is gonna be pretty bad i mean piecing out hormuz because hormuz's capital is up to 17 dev so it's going to be expensive for us. Let's get you guys over here and blockade. This is coast. This is not inland sea. So we got to be careful of that. Let's uh, put you guys on Wallachia here. Let's get you guys down. Hormuz's army needs wiped out. There you go. Hormuz is uh, no longer feeling up to it. Very solid though. And I will continue to repay these loans. There you go. I probably need to not do that. Looks like I sunk a few of their galleys, but there's no reason to uh, prioritize fighting their navy if I don't need to. Ah, shoot. Okay. Yep. So we'll reinforce. Very good. Now, if I wanted to, I could also head down into this area and get a little bit more trade power here, but it looks like we're okay. I think I'd rather get here because... Mm. Shoot, man. This might be better. I do have claims on all of this as well. I have claims on all of it regardless. I'm going to have to separate piece them though. 
The AE is going to be so bad from this, but I think it's worth, in, in my opinion. Here we go. Theron getting sieged down. I've lost the siege of Theodoro. Oh, no. <laughs> Persia doing uh, just AI things, right? All right. Let's have you guys head down here and have you guys head down here. Have you guys head over here. Have you guys head over here. Have you guys head over here. Have you guys come over and blockade these guys. Yeah. Once Hormuz gets closer to 100%, uh, they will be much more willing to uh, accept this piece. Let's give that to you guys. You guys are going to get wiped out here. This is uh, dry land, so that should be a stack wipe. No stack wipe. Interesting. Very good. Have you guys head over this way. Now Hormuz. There you go. Easy peasy. And I'll take all your money as well. Screw you guys. This, uh, this land over here, hmm. I, I think I'll just trade company it. I don't want to trade company all the provinces because that will, um, it'll trade company this province up here that I still want to convert. Now, the reason why I've explained it, but the reason why I don't want to convert all of it right now is just because it's going to be very, very expensive, um, in terms of time where I'd rather just uh, get this converted right now. There you go. That's going to boost our income up 70, 65, all the way up to 68.4. And there's still quite a bit being steered out of here. Now, remember, if I can get Serbia... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Mechadon is still getting a little, little pissy with me. But 6.4 will go down, and that goes all the way up to almost 70. All we need to do is take my Vassal's pro um, trade power. Who knew? Yep, so like if I build this, these guys here, it's going to help us out. Um, build that there as well. The more trade power we have here, the more we propagate upstream, which prevents trade from going up here. This is good. Let's have you guys head over here. Now, this war, this is going to be painful for me. This is 100% going to get me a coalition. Oh, maybe not, actually. That is really not that bad. This is really not that bad. Well, I suppose I should probably take a few more provinces then. Might as well push our luck, right? We could do a little bit of border gore. <laughs> Cut him in half. Uh, we could do something like this. I, uh, I think this is fine. A couple more people might join our coalition, though. Gotta be mindful of that. Get these guys as occupied as we can. All is well, though. Not bad, huh? How's that for a for a video, for an episode? Absolutely crushing it, I think. I'm quite happy with this. Uh, let's make sure we get these guys all, or all uh, covered up here. Let's have our navy grouped up over here. There you go. We still got a few more coming in. We can take mill on the yearly tick, and I will. And what that does is that will allow me to take this for how much? 710. So 111 points above base. Four years ahead of time for how much? For innovativeness? Yeah, not bad. That's worth, I think. We'll see. Upgrade our cannons, of course. Always upgrade your cannons. Stronger cannons means more damage from the back row, which means you don't have to work nearly as hard to, uh, you know... Kill your enemies. Here we go. This is reasonable, I think. I think uh, this is good. Could also do something like that. Make a that'll make it two exclaves for them. There you go, Persia. You got Persian Caucasus, Caucasia. Pour that all up. Now, I think I'm just going to add it all. I can't really be asked to do much more than that. That is probably going to get us pretty close to getting a Persian Charter. No, not quite. Now, we don't need that to be doing that anymore either. Income generated by company provinces. Isn't that nuts? This is new. I don't think I've seen that before. Continue converting, of course. We are very overextended, to be expected. That means we're going to have quite a few rebels. Understandable. Um, have you guys suppress over here? 
And then let's have you guys head over here into Tabriz, that area. Yep. If you just don't click this, it can't happen again. It can only fire once. So while it's pending, it will not fire again. So just don't click it and it will not fire again. It's a pretty nice little tip, tick there, trick you can do. Um, let's head to like over here so we're not taking a bunch of attrition. Actually, um, yep, we'll head up here. A little bit of corruption, all is well. Look at that, we're still making crazy good money even though we're crazy overextended as well. You'll love to see it happen, folks. You guys will suppress over here. And uh, yeah, I think that's a great place to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. All those things are linked in the description below. So if you haven't already uh, checked those out, you definitely should. Uh, obviously, we need to add you to the trade company. You already are. Uh, I just need more money. But yes. I, uh, oh, shoot. See, I didn't mean to do that. That was a fat finger. Seljuk Separatists. And just like that, we're up to 73.6 ducats per month. That's insane. That's actually insane. <laughs> If you guys haven't already considered supporting me on my Patreon, I definitely recommend you check that out. We are now making 24 ducats a month more in the node. Uh, we are making 114 ducats from trade. We're almost clearing 100 ducats a month of income, and we are now the number one great power. Pretty good, right? All right, lads, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.